welcome back to my channel. So as I was um, getting ready for this video, I realized that I didn't do something that I wanted to do and I should have put my closure on before I covered this. And the reason being is that way I could have covered up the little, um, like I did here, you see it's covered where I um, done the little rivet. But it's perfectly fine to do it afterwards because I, I don't mind the look of the rivet, but just keep that in mind. Now, on this um, envelope here, this would be very awkward to try and get something in it because this is where my actual journal is going to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue my paper along here all over the entire thing and then right there near the end, I'll cut a little um, pull right here and then I'll um, slice that open. And you know what the other thing is I did not do? I did not attach my, um... oh no, I do it here. Um, see, I'm losing it. This is where I attach the other envelope. So let's figure out what paper we wanna use here. Then we will do all of that because see, I'm just like, because if I don't have like a script or something, you know, if I don't have stuff planned out, then I just like lose my thought. Okay, so look at these gnats flying around. It's hot here, it's wet from, it's rained for so many days. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing, I'm cutting that. I apologize, I think I'm off screen when you can't see where I'm cutting it, but I'm just cutting right there where I made my little mark. And I am rounding my corners. Okay. So if you guys remember in yesterday's video, we um, constructed the basic um, frame for our journal. Um, we put the three envelopes together. We squirt them at one eighth, two eighth, and three eighths from the um, fold of the flap. Okay, so let's see. Do we want to use this journal? I think we do. Now, the one thing I do want to do, um, because again, that would be kind of awkward to use, I am going to go right along this edge here and just barely cut it and that stick um so now it's open so let me ink that back up just a little bit there all right so now what i want to do is i want to glue this onto this paper here because this is what's going to hold this together And you can, you know, you could actually do even more envelopes than what I'm doing. You can do all kinds of little flips and fold outs. Um, if you do that, just make sure that you reinforce your papers and, you know, reinforce your bindings and stuff. Because um, once you start adding that weight on it, um, you can start pulling on it. Okay, I do like that. I'm just thinking. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to put my glue, I think I'm gonna put my glue here. And I'm just gonna run a strip. And then I'm gonna go here, because I want it all over this. But I don't want it to glue that pocket down, because it's not gonna be a pocket on this side, but it will be a top loading pocket. So I want to make sure to keep that where it's as open as possible. All right. And so we want to get that right there. And man, I went crazy with the glue, didn't I? And then if you're like me and you put way too much glue, just wipe off that excess. And I'm trying not to push down too much so that it doesn't get glue all down on the inside. 
Okay, so we've got that, and then this will be covered. Let's go ahead and decide what we want to cover that with. I'm thinking. I think what I'm going to do, just to make sure that I have a good area here, I'm just going to cut that right there. Now let me just see. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down to this. So I'm just going to get some glue here. And you're not going to see it, um, but it's just going to give me a little bit of a base. And you'll see when I go to add the, t the cover for this. So I'm just putting it right here, sliding it in. I'm getting it right there. And then I'm just going to press down. Let me go a little bit in on that. And then hopefully I've kept it open. Yeah. Okay. Now we can take and cover this. And let's go with one of red polka dots. I think I like the red polka dots. And now this is a shorter envelope, so I'm going to need to cut it twice. So I'm going to cut it there, and I'm going to cut it there. And I like to use contrast. Um, contrasting paper it just gives it a little bit more dimension to me and I love doing stuff like that okay. now let's just make sure that I cut it right and that looks like I did so again we're just gonna round the edges there And then we're going to ink it. Okay. Now what I do want to do is I do want to glue this little spot down. Um, but just a little bit of glue. Because I don't want it to go all up in my envelope. Um, I want to keep that envelope open. So I'm literally just a little bit of glue. All right, so now let's glue this down. I got glue all over my fingers. Ugh. At the end of a, you know, making these things, my hands look so awful. But oh well, it's fine. Who cares? I don't. I enjoy it. All right, so we're just going to place that down. All right, so now we have this area open. Uh, the top of this will be open. We have this area open. Now we have to cover this. And I think that's the only one we have left to cover. Hmm. Okay, so we're doing better than I thought. What about if we use some more of this? Maybe do it this way. Let's do that to cover this. So again, I'm just marking it where I want to cut it. Oh, I think we still have to do the um, front part of the flap. Okay, so let's cut that. And let's cut this. And let's see how good my cutting job was. I think I've done pretty good. All right, so now I am just Round in my corners. 
And again, whether you round the corners or whether you ink, all of that is just personal preference. You do it however you like it, however it makes you feel better. Don't do it just because somebody else is doing it. You do it just because it's something you want to do. All right, so now we're going to glue this down. This is so much fun. I love doing these. And get it placed where I want it. I'm loving this. Look, guys. Oh, my goodness. Look how cute it's already looking. Okay. So, now we need to cover that. Out. Let's do it with that. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just being cheat. And I'm just going to do it. Line it up like that. Mark where I need to cut it. I just didn't feel like measuring could have measured it, but I don't want to. I was being lazy. All right. Now let's see if we put that there. I'm going to need to cut just that little sliver off again. I mean, it's so little. But it does affect the way it looks, so I do have to cut that little tiny sliver off. Hopefully I got it right. We'll see. Mm, I think we got it close enough for government work, so we're going to go with it. All right, and I'm not rounding the corners on that. I'm just going to go ahead and ink it up. And again, as you can see, I love these, the contrasting patterns. And it just makes it so much fun. And I'm just putting the glue right on here. You can put it on here or on the paper. It's just... Honestly, it's whatever I feel like doing at the moment. Okay, and I'm just going to put that down. Making sure not to go over that um, score line. Alright, so look at that. It's coming right along. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. <laughs> I forgot. We still got a whole other thing to cover. Okay. That's what I done the last time. And I tried to play it off and say, yeah, I still got to add this here and that here. Well, the truth of the matter is I forgot. I forgot all about the inside. But I tried to play it off. I just don't know how well I did. So maybe you guys thought I was just still working on the journal. But honestly I thought I was done and then when I got on here in yesterday's video and was showing it to you guys I'm like um I forgot <laughs> I forgot there was another entire section so yeah and I'm sure I will do that on every single one of these that I make I will forget all about this little inside and have to go in and do it when I'm finishing things up. I mean, there ain't no sense lying about it. I'm try, you know, I can try and play it off, but the truth of the matter is it just escaped me. I just forgot all about doing it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna slide this open and slide this right down in it. There we go. And this is the where the um, cutout's going to be on the other side. So let's see. What do we want to use here for our paper? See, I just have too many choices. 
which I'm not complaining. I love it. You know what? I think I may go back with this one right here. I did like that. So same thing we've done before. I'm just lining it up. I'm gonna mark where I need to cut it. So I was thinking that before I saw this inside, I was like, hey, we're doing good on time. Um, we may be able to just finish this all today on video. And then <clears throat> what we'll do is finish adding all of the, um, the pages, you know, the covers, that kind of stuff, like we're doing now. And then what we will do um, is tomorrow's video, we will finish it. We'll come back and um, so in the, we're going to put one signature in it. So in tomorrow's video, we will come back on here and do that. Um, and then, you know, whatever other kind of decorations that we see that we, we might want to do. But today, we will just finish up um, putting our pages on. I know good and well I marked that. Oh, I see it, I think. I don't know. Maybe I do. We're going to act like I see it. Man, that's some good cutting. Check out that cutting, guys. Y'all like that cutting? <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I need to take some lessons in cutting again. Still, I don't know why. I always get this one a little larger for some reason. And I'm not sure. Something in my measurements is not adding up. But at least I'm consistent with it because it's on every single one. Alright. That looks good. Let's round these two corners. And let's ink it up. These are just so much fun to make. I can see I'm, I've got all kinds of different ones in mind that I want to do. Um, birthdays, um, new baby. This would be wonderful for like somebody um, that just had a baby. You could um, do it like a almost like a baby journal style. And then, you know, in the different pockets, you could add, you know, put some different things like... Um, a gift card in one of the pockets, um, you know, like to a restaurant, you can do, um, you could even do something like, um, tips for new moms or, you know, anything like that. You can just really have fun with it. Okay, now what do we want to put on this one? What have we done so far? What about if we went with the pine cones again? Isn't that what those were? Let's see, I can talk. I can't even think. I don't know. It was something like that. Now that I'm wanting those, I can't find them. There they go. Holly, that's what it was. Pine cones. Where on earth? Oh, guys, what is going on with me? Yeah, I mean, I really do know how to talk, I think. <laughs> yeah, I just, I've had some rough days at work, and so it has had me stressed out. But, you know, it's okay. It is what it is. It's part of life. We all have stressful days, and it's just what you do with those stressful days. You can either let them get you down, or you can craft 
<laughs> now you guys know why I make so many uh, digital papers and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's from all the stress. It's how I deal with my stress. So, yeah. Yeah, today I was at work and um, I was going over some files where somebody had messed some stuff up. And I didn't even realize it, but all of a sudden my phone, um, my watch starts going off and it was telling me that my heart rate was way too high. And I'm like, oh my goodness, okay, you need to stop stressing over this mess. For those of you that don't know, I actually, um, I had a heart attack in 2017. And, um... I, I would tell you how old I was when I had it, but I, I don't even know how old I am now because I tell everybody that I'm 23 and that's just what I've always said. So I really don't know how old I am. Um, I know that my birthday is this month and I was born in 73. Okay, so there we go. I have no idea. You guys do the math. Tell me how old I am. So in 2017, I had um, a heart attack. I did not know I was having a heart attack when I had the heart attack because I probably would have died from the heart attack if I had known. <laughs> I would have. I mean, it would have been bad. I would have freaked out or something, you know, but because I did not realize I was having a heart attack, I, I honestly thought I had uh, indigestion. Um, my ex-husband and I, we had went to... Um, a Mexican restaurant and had ate some Mexican food and so I just knew that's what the deal was and I, I kept telling them I was like man I feel like I got a burp you know but it's just I can't and um it was bad enough that he went and got me some Alka-Seltzer and oh my god I don't take any kind of liquid medicine at all nope 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 can't stand it but it was bad enough that I took the Alka-Seltzer and I chugged that thing down. And I mean, I still wasn't getting relieved. And I'm like, uh, can I have another thing at Alka-Seltzer? And he was like, um, no, you can't. And so I guess it went on for like three hours that I was hurting like that. But it wasn't my heart. My heart was not hurting. And so I didn't even think about it being... A heart attack and so the next day um, I didn't go to work the next day I don't think or maybe I was late but I was kind of like feeling nauseous you know I just didn't feel good and so the day after that was on a Tuesday I didn't go to work on Wednesday well on Thursday on my lunch break um, I was like well I'm just gonna go see what's going you know because I just didn't feel good it wasn't no big deal but I just, and then we found it on Wednesday night, my ex-husband's cousin, who was just a little bit older than me, died of a heart attack. Now, mind you, we didn't know that I'd had a heart attack at that point. And um, hers had actually presented as a toothache. She thought her teeth, um, like her wisdom tooth, I think is what it was, um, she thought it was hurting her. And she was in a lot of pain from that. Well, she died of a heart attack. So, mind you, I'm still not thinking I have a heart attack. You know, I'm having a heart attack, nothing like that. And uh, I went to the doctor the next day on the Thursday. And so, it was, what, two days after my heart attack. And um, I said, we need to, let's do an EKG. Just make sure everything's good. You know, I just want to make sure. I was like, okay, whatever. They done the EKG, and whenever they did, and they walked back in the room with me, and I saw their face, I'm like, uh, is everything okay? And they're like, no. They said, you have some heart damage. And they showed me the, um, the EKG, and there was, like, you know how normally you see the little lines going up and down? Well, you'd see, like, three lines going up and down, and then you'd see a space. <laughs> And I'm like, what's that mean? And they were like, um, 
that's the part of your heart that's not working. It's like dead. I'm like, what? And they said, yeah, you've had a heart attack. Do you know when you might have had a heart attack? And I was like, well, um, I did have indigestion. They said, no, you didn't. <laughs> so, um, long story short, my heart is perfectly fine for the most part now. Um, that was from stress, they said. Um, it long it, and I still haven't told you guys the story and I still don't know when or if I will but uh, it was a very stressful marriage that I was in and so the stress caused my heart attack and so um, I am on med heart medication for the rest of my life they said and because my heart um, it, it's what they call tacky and so if I get upset or excited or anything like that, it goes into tachycardia, which sends, um, yeah, so it's just crazy. I'm like, please, people, I'm too young to deal with this mess. But I'm glad that, you know, I know I'm aware. Um, so, but the moral of that story is this, guys. Ladies, whoever you are, um, realize that, number one, a lady's heart attack does not present the same way that a man's does. I did not know that. They told me that it could be a toothache. It could be a, um, a pain in my back. Um, my shoulder. I forget what all it was, but like for the first year after I had my heart attack, they gave me a list of things. They said, if you feel any of these, you have to come straight to the emergency room. Well, of course, I felt everything they told me. <laughs> I'm like, wait, yeah, I have that, I have that. I didn't go to the emergency room, but I mean, it was just like every single little pain. I'm like, oh my God, am I having a heart attack? And I wasn't, but I mean, it just, it scared me to death almost. And so I just, I realized, okay, get control of it. And so that's one reason why I do a lot of my crafting. It is very therapeutic for me. I enjoy it. It does, um, it does relax me. And it's just fun. And that's, you know, one of the reasons why I am, it's like I started doing the digital design and stuff. I realized very quickly life is way too short. Um, you know, it could have been taken away from me very quickly. I was very blessed that I was able to stick around and aggravate my kids and all of you guys. <laughs> Anyway, I'm sorry I went off on my little rabbit trail. So any of you ladies, especially, pay attention to that kind of stuff. Don't take it for granted. All right, so we are going to go ahead and call this video done. And I'm loving it so far. I'm absolutely loving this. And then we will come back tomorrow and we will finish it up. Talk to you guys later. Bye.